Coming up next, a Midlands-based marketing agency attempts their very own grand design. Located in the heart of idyllic Shropshire, Telford is one of the fastest growing towns in the UK, a bustling hub of thriving businesses. It's here that we find Kenza Creative, a locally grown design and marketing agency looking for a new home. But what sort of space would be suitable for a bunch of eccentric designers? One must first ask the question, what is creativity? And perhaps more importantly, how much of it can you squeeze into a confined space before it becomes a problem? Kenza has been based at the Innovation Centre for the past five years, and the team has more than quadrupled in size during that time. We've reached the point where we really need to start looking for a place of our own. At Kenza, no two days are the same, but we've always been a bit short on space, especially when we're filming interviews or packing up hundreds of items for a direct mail campaign. We'd always dreamed about building our own office in the future, but after searching and searching for a new place without finding anything suitable, it started to seem like a viable alternative. After looking into the finances, it actually turned out that building could be better value than buying or leasing. Plus that way, we could get exactly what we wanted. Fortunately, Kenza also has a remarkably diverse range of clients in the area, and they were able to enlist one of them. Wellington-based architectural practice, Bit Group, to help make it happen. Bit helped us secure a made-to-measure building plot as part of a wider development, which is what made it all possible. But with picky designers as clients, any proposed scheme would need to strike a fine balance, appealing to both their design sensibilities and their budget. It begins with a vast car park which stretches across the plot, future-proof to house up to 40 vehicles. From here, the Kenza building rises from the ground, a shed-shaped monument with a skeleton of steel and a futuristic skin made from highly insulated structural panels. A generous amount of glazing will also feature prominently, including a row of glass panels which puncture the roof to help flood the space with light. On the upper floor, we enter the nerve centre of Kenza, a vast vaulted space designed to maximise freedom and allow creativity to flourish. It will feature modern workstations, meeting spaces, breakout areas and a chill-out room slash kitchen. Downstairs will be left over to more practical concerns, like a server room, storage area, film studio, home cinema, and of course, a full-length swimming pool. It's now May. All the paperwork has been sorted and work has already started on the site. Grand workers have arrived and the foundation trenches are being dug. But that's where the good news ends. We're only at the very beginning of the build process and already experts have had to be called in. There's been a discovery on site which could spell disaster for the entire project. You're watching a self-indulgent mockumentary sponsored by Kenza. Have you been a victim of a design crime that's not your fault? Do your customers groan when they see your latest marketing materials? Is your website a bit web shy. So it turns out it's just a fish tank ornament that dates to about 2014 AD. So we're all fine. Back on site, the ground has been stripped, foundations poured, and the car park is in. The steel frame has arrived on site and it's being delicately craned into place, then bolted together. Already, the building is starting to take shape. It's coming together really quickly, like a big Meccano set. We've been on site quite often, trying to help out as best we can, but some of the guys are being slightly more helpful than others. Of 
course, this all has to happen alongside their design day jobs, juggling deadlines and keeping clients happy. Progress is good. We should be moving any day now. But 2018 experienced one of the hottest summers on record, and builders are in high demand. It's a good thing that Kens are used to creative problem solving, and with a little extra encouragement, they managed to keep everyone on site and working away. However, there have also been inevitable disagreements with the architects. There's just not the size to fit a swimming pool in there, and your budget won't align for it. In the end, Kenza decide to stick to what they do best and leave the building to the professionals. So, what do you guys do? Um, Kenza are a full service design and marketing agency. And what does that involve? We do everything from logo design, branding, uh, print, marketing campaigns, website design, video production. Basically, we just help our customers sell more stuff. <laughs> oh, I understand that. Yeah. It's July and the roof is going on, providing some welcome shade and ticking off another major build milestone. The wall panels follow shortly after, completing the shed-like silhouette of the structure. Both the walls and the roof are made from an innovative preformed panel system. It's a little bit like an insulation sandwich. On the outer shell, we have a coating of steel to protect it from the elements. Inside, we have a thick insulated core to keep the building nice and warm. And then finally, an internal sheet of steel. This all comes together into a package which is surprisingly thin, yet still extremely strong, and it also allows the system to come together very quickly. Actually, couldn't we have just showed them this? The final item to make the building weather tight is the glazing, consisting of vast panels of glass and aluminium that need to be delicately eased into place. The roof lights are now in two, adding a splash of light to the cavernous upper floor. There is a real sense of momentum on site as it all starts to come together, and the trades are being whipped into a frenzy, fitting out the building. With the internal walls going up, spaces begin to define themselves, allowing us a tantalising glimpse of what this workspace will eventually become. Kilometres of cables begin to snake their way through the skin of the building, ready to bring power and data to every nook and cranny. Expansive LED lighting is installed overhead, along with the latest heat pump technology and a high-tech security system for peace of mind. Again, courtesy of another client of Kenza. We also see some less appreciated yet equally essential items, like the staircase and toilets, which work to transform it into a habitable space. The team are back on site to explore and start planning out the finer details. It feels going really well. Uh, we brought the team down to see today. Got Dino up there. Hi, Dean! <laughs> everything's um, going to track. Um, the builders tell us everything's on schedule. What? Oh, sh. The finishing touches are starting to arrive. A splash of paint brings it on brand, and the flooring softens it. Even the car park has had a fresh coat of tarmac. It's October, and the team is almost ready to move in. We should be moving in any day. In the end, it stands as a triumphal monument to the power of the creative soul, of the transformative quality of design and what humanity can achieve with a singular architectural vision. In all seriousness, the project went relatively smoothly, built on time and on budget. Ish. And for that, we'd like to thank our partners at Bit, Apt and Morris Property. Oh, you want to see what it looks like inside? Well, you have to come and see for yourselves. <laughs>